historical firsts in Major League Baseball history. 1962 World Series, first World Series in San Francisco. 1958, the new San Francisco Giants play at their new spring training facility in Phoenix. No longer training in Scottsdale due to territorial rights. That's Willie Mays sliding in home, I'd say. 1958, first season in San Francisco. Seal Stadium in the background. Another first in this one is Volmy Thomas, first player from the Virgin Islands to sign a big league contract. Is that Hank Sauer? Nineteen sixty-two, opening day for Major League Baseball. First ever game at the new Dodger Stadium in Chavez Ravine. Nineteen sixty-two is the first time in the All-Star game they give out an MVP award. That would go to Maury Wills. See the glasses? All the cities in LA. Spotlight now on Walt Ditson. Did quite a few covers for baseball, Walt Ditson. This first and this is a uh, first Larry Doby appearance as an Oreo. Didn't last long. One of my favorite cartoons here. Swing, crack, schmack. Continuing with the Walt Ditson spring training programs for the Baltimore Oreos. Larry Doby has his photo in this one. He's wearing his White Sox hat. Congratulations, Oreos champs. That's where they stay, at the safari. Got some more Walt Ditson here. This time it's for the Red Sox. First in this one is first black player for the Red Sox. That would be Pumpsy Green. Signed, sent back down to the minors, didn't play his first game until July, didn't play in Fenway until August. Other notables in this, of course, Ted Williams, but Jackie Jensen, Bay Area Cal Bear legend, first bear to run for a thousand yards, first player to play in a Rose Bowl, the World Series, and an All-Star game. 1947, Jackie Jensen pitched for the inaugural College World Series and outpitched Hall of Famer Bobby Lane of the Detroit Lions. Yeah. We'll finish it off with the 1961 All-Star Game. First ever All-Star Game in San Francisco. That'll do it, baseball fans. Peace.